start of a Wishbone Ash solo that is on this album called Just Testing. It's played by Lloyd Wessel. Um, it's side one, track one. It's a great song, it's one of my favourites. And one of my Facebook friends, Alan McMenemy, is a great guitar player, said to me yesterday that it was his favourite Wishbone Ash guitar solo. And we were chatting about it, and I tend to. to Go on the side of Andy Powell and UC Red, but there's Laurie and Persephone. Laurie's two solos in this are absolutely magnificent. Um, that's the start of the first one in the studio. Now it's 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 on this album Locked In, which is the one that came after uh, No Smoke Without Fire. And if you read Andy Powell's autobiography, it does give the impression that the band were coming apart. But it took six months to record I believe which, which they consider a long time I wouldn't consider that a long time for something like good I really wouldn't but it did take six months and there's two versions of this song well there's lots but there's two famous versions the two most famous versions um, there's the one in this Live Dates 2 which is incredible it, it varies in a number of ways the one on Locked In I would say is a bit more produced it's got more if you're interested in the song um, I think there's a fair chance that I'll be able to show you some bits that, that you know, you could you could listen to the song for ten years and not notice them. For example, in in the verses. Right. There's a guitar in the background that goes. And it sounds like a junior, I remember playing uh, this on a junior, but it sounds like Laurie going. Back to the A minor. Um, and the bit that goes. That bit right before. Right? There's a violin in guitar that's a, a, a Nino all the way up to C that goes. There's that bit. In the verses, as well as... There's that. And the second part, these are these parts are buried, they're very hard to, to determine what they are. Second verse is a... And the high notes are B. These bits, to me, are, are very sort of... Uh, Spooky, you know, the, the, the light should be in the Wicker Man or something, and they sound fantastic. Obviously, in the live version that I mentioned on Live Dates 2, it's just, you know, there, there's two guitars and that's it. Um, you know, they're not going to cover eight guitar parts, so it's just totally kick ass. Um, it's an amazing song, and you know, it starts off, first thing you hear, but I mean, imagine, you know, getting the album home, and the first thing you hear is this. <laughs> do that or does it we'll get to that later um it's a song with lots and lots of parts and, and secrets and, and mysteries then you know that that then you've got lorries Yeah, in the second solo he plays all that stuff which is fantastic. Um, you've got all the harmony part. And you've got all that stuff. Um, loads and loads of bits. So as I say, if you're interested in the song, I'll try and go through every every little part, you know, from there. To the opening riff which may come off that, or it may come off that chord. Um, depending on whether you're playing it live or you know, if you've got the luxury of two guitars in the band. Uh, the and probably my favourite bit. The lead right into. Uh, 
and we're into what is so, right? So it was one of my favourite albums when I got it, and, and, and it is to this day. It's a beautifully recorded record, and there's loads of stuff on it. The, the, the song comes after this is called Haunting Me, and it has one of the very rare, I think, um, given that these guys are the masters of harmony guitar, it's got a unison guitar solo with Andy and Laurie that is just absolutely amazing. Um, album full of surprises, and it's, it's got a, like a folk song on the second side called uh, Master of Disguise. Um, that's just incredible. Um, so, you know, if you're a Wishbone fan, that might be an album to uh, seek out, you know, if you only know the, the more well known ones like Argus and stuff. So, this is a primer, and I'm going to go through the locked in um, version and then, then, then the live stuff. They're similar. I mean, uh, uh, Laurie plays his first solo pretty close in the live album. His second one um, varies a little bit, but we'll go through all the licks. All the solos and all the harmonies and stuff like that. So if you like the song, stay with me. 